Here. Give it a try. Go on, see what it feels like. Rob, what do you think? It suits you. <laughs> now there's a fella who knows good taste when he sees it. Christine? Christine? Disappearing on me, it's like going out with the invisible woman. Yeah, are you sure she ain't got another geezer? Of course she wouldn't. I ain't never heard of you, know. Well, why would she want another geezer when she's got me? Yeah, I'm full of that. Exactly. It's not slushy. It's nice. <laughs> well, show me then. Hmm? Give us a kiss. Oh, yeah. Why not? There's no one here that knows us. Unless you are ashamed of me, of course. It. What's the matter now? Nothing. Nothing at all. Do you want another drink? Who is it? It's Ollie, mate. Oh, Phil, uh, Mandy's not here at the moment. Can you come back later? It's okay. I just want to drop something off. What? Well, open the door and I'll show you. No. Well, I'll put the chain on then. No, hurry up. I'll, I'll be back in the carriage. You promise you won't try anything? A scout's honour. I oh, can't, lads. You promise you won't try anything? I lied. I'll I fight you if I have to. Oh, don't be silly, man. No, if it means getting beaten up by you, I have to tell Mandy I'll let you in. I'd rather get beaten up. Look, just get your gear and sling your up, all right? No. I could always dangle him out the window. It's a bit high, isn't it? No, it's only 14 floors. Yeah, but what happens if you drop him? We're doing him a favour. Yeah, go on then. He just hit me. Well, he's, uh, he's got some front luggage in that. Or paint him back or what? Yeah, well, go on, but uh, listen, I'll make a mess on the car because you know, I'm moving in here. Right. Boom! Hey, Does Nick know you're here? Oh, no, no, this is my idea. I mean... Well, if he's serious about wanting a normal life, well, then I want us to be a proper family. All of us. Only, well, it's not quite as simple as that. There is something else. What's that? Well, I've, um... We've got a little boy. Not again. Eh? Pull the other one. Nick sent you, didn't he? See on his uppers. Needs money. I'd have thought he'd had the sense not to repeat himself. Well, I don't know what you're talking about. You and Nick, you're in this together. Oh, you think I'm trying to con you? Well, aren't you? Oh, no. I've been here before, you know. No, no, I'm not. Everything I've told you is true. You can tell Nick from me that you ain't getting another penny out of me. So I suggest that you take your lies elsewhere. All right, so you don't believe me. Have a look at this. I Ashley's birth certificate. That don't mean nothing. Look, I don't want anything from you. All I want is for you to come and see Nick and Ashley. Well, see for yourself. I'm sure you'd be very convincing. But it won't wash. Not this time round. Now, just take yourself off. All right, all right, so you don't believe me. You think this is a forgery or something and we're trying to con you. Well, knowing Nick, I can't say I blame you. But what if it isn't? We're talking about your grandson, Mrs. Cotton. You can turn your back on his father, but not on him. Peter said you'd be in here. Dinner's almost ready. I thought you'd gone shopping. Hoping I wouldn't come back. Well, it, it did cross my mind, yeah. I'm sorry to disappoint you. Oh, you did that when you turned up in the first place. So what shall I tell Gita? You coming home or not? I'll come in my own time, all right? You know, I could never see what she saw in you. Even less so now. What would you know? I know about manners, if nothing else. Which is more than you do. No, the only thing you know about is how to be an interfering old witch. What did you say? You heard. You may think you're better than everyone else, but I'm not impressed. 
So why don't you take your money, your fancy clothes, and that stupid po face of yours, and go take a running jump? That told her. <laughs> so, we're going to see you again then? Well, perhaps you could bring Ashley round to mine next time. You know, I ain't got much of a garden, but he might like a change of scenery. Oh, okay, yeah. Oh, well, no, I'll let myself out. You know, you get back to your cooking. Okay, then, bye. Now, remember what I said, Ashley? Yeah. Be a good boy to your mother. Yeah. Bye. Bye. So, uh, where's that lovely young lady of yours tonight, you know? Uh, she's got something else on tonight. Oh, what, you mean she's blowing you out? Of course not. I reckon he's done anything. Or she stopped herself. Yeah. Hold it, but I was his bed here. Can you imagine him slobbering all over you? I'll have you know, my Debs was very satisfied in that department, thank you very much. What, you mean you've seen another bloke? <laughs> That's what I said. Now, normally, I'd deck both of you for a mark like that. Ooh. But as I'm knackered from hunting a glorified lawnmower and 11 boxes of ABBA records 200 feet up in the air, I'll let it pass. <sighs> Thanks a lot. So I wonder who it is, then. Well, it ain't me. Excuse me. <laughs> I'll leave you children to play with yourselves. I'll go and play darts with the adults. What, what are you doing here, anyway? Just thinking. So what's wrong with thinking? There's nothing, nothing wrong with thinking. Uh, something, just something, but, uh, you know, I don't, I don't expect... From what? From me? But, you know, own up, sir. I mean, it's not exactly what you're famous for here, is it? Yeah, great, that's it. Look, now, what about all this, boy? You should have went over the car over an hour ago. What's the point? What's the point? I need you to cover for me. That's the point, son. Ah! Oh! Dad, sorry, I'll move. Oh, it's a bit late now, isn't it? You all right? No, I'm not all right. I've got an ankle on the missing list. There's a huge great gap between me shin and me foot. I'm oh, sorry. What is this? What is this? Everyone's against me. Who's against you? I'm not against you just because I bang my foot on the battery. Doesn't mean to say I'm against you. Well, I can't do anything right. What are you talking about? Well, I can't work in the car because I get under your feet. I can't work in the pavement because Doc can't don't look where she's going. So what am I supposed to do? How am I supposed to work if I keep getting moved on? Ricky, Ricky. There ain't any tea bags left. Yo. Oh, hold on, hold on. Here, Ashley. You run off down to the corner shop and you get some. And uh, keep the change. We'll say it's your pocket money. And hurry up about it and all. Oh, Nick, how could you? You know I always look forward to you having a son of your own. I used to imagine it, the wedding, pat for tiny feet. I've even got your christening gown. Yeah, well, it was up to me. I'd rather not have him. All he does is cost money. Oh, Nick, how can you? Your own son. Considering these start he's had, he's grown up a lovely boy. Must have my jeans, then. Here, they're mine. Good to see you, Mark. Listen. I don't want Mark coming round here, so don't encourage her. I might see him, all right. Oh, you're the only one. Just don't want her interfering, that's all. I gave the old teapot good scrub. It was all brown on the inside. It's all brown on the outside. Oh, well, thanks. I keep meaning to get round to that sort of stuff, but with these two to look after. Oh, I know. Ma, mm -hmm. maybe you better forget the tea. Don't want you getting caught up in a rush out, do we? Last thing you want to do is get trampled on. Oh, yeah, I never thought of that. Oh, I hate them crowds, you know. All that shoving and pushing. And them germs. Here, Zoe. Take this. Get no, something you nice for Ashley. It. Oh, go on, take it. There you are. Now, don't bother. I'll let myself out. And if I don't touch Ashley on my way out, give him his grandma's glass. Mm. Will do. Oh, we'll see you soon, then. Yeah, ta-da. Bye-bye. Well, they did, all right? What are we going to do when your mum finds out Ash has lost his trainers? Nothing. I, I don't understand how he could have lost them. He only wore them a couple of times, didn't you, Ash? There's no point bleating about it. If they're gone, they're gone. Yeah, well, she ain't going to be very happy about it, is she? Oh, who cares whether she is or not? It's none of the old bag's business. What have you got against her? She's a meddling cow. She's just trying to help out. We don't need her help. Oh, you could have fooled me. Look, you think you know Ma, but you don't. We've got a good little setup here, but I tell you, when she gets her nose in, we won't have nothing. If she starts interfering, then I'm off. Oh, what a surprise. That's all you ever do, isn't it? Run off. I've never run from nothing. Oh, what? How many times you run off and left me? I'm back now, ain't I? So just shut up about it all. You're worse than mile away, you go on. 
I ain't getting it. Ash, get the door, John. If it's for charity, tell them we need it more than they do. Hello. How's my favourite grandson? All right, Ma. What a surprise. You're not going to get away with it, Richard. I am going to hound you to tell the truth. I don't know if I listen to that. Well, then just tell the truth. You shouldn't push me, Gita. Why? Are you going to turn green and throw cars around? I mean it. Don't push me. Ashley's been gone a long time. Have I done something to upset him? Probably. Of course not. I thought it'd be back by oh, now. I ain't got his jacket on. It is summer. I know that. I always made sure you wore your jacket no matter what. Remember what I used to tell you? If it keeps the cold out, it'll keep the heat in. Yeah, that set me up for life, didn't it? Now, what was he like as a kid then, eh? Little angel. Mm. Yeah, he loved his mummy. He'd cry if I went out the room. Did he? Mm. Oh, he ain't changed much, has he? I'm off out. Where? Out. I come all this way to see you. Well, you see me, and now I'm going out. Well, when are you coming back then? Later. Oh, if you see Ashley, make sure it's... Now. And all that goes with it, I've just... I've had enough. I'm not sure it's over. Oh, no, Arthur. Far from it. What I'm saying is I... I want you to leave Paul then, once and for all. Come and live with me. Dear, dear. You know, I have thought about it. Bless him, Gran. Oh, Nick, what about it? Granny hates me. Don't be so silly, Ashley. I'm not being silly. Gran, please come with us. Now, listen, Ashley. Mrs. C's made her mind up. Oh, no. You can't be serious. I'm sorry, Nigel. But don't you worry, dear. We'll go see your mummy. See if it's still on the cards. Sorry, Nigel. Come on, dear. It was just as well. It never worked out. In fact, it had been a disaster. I don't know. Ash is so fond of her. Oh, Ash don't know her like I do. Trust me. She's a total nutter. No, she ain't a nutter, Nick. She's got a criminal record. Got done for shoplifting once. Yeah, well, you aren't exactly a saint, are you? Exactly. Where do you think I get it from? People like me don't just happen. That woman messed up my head for life. You don't want to do the same thing to Ash, now, do you? No. Believe me, it's been sheer good luck she said no. She'd moved in. You'd have soon found out what she's really like. Yeah. Yeah, maybe you're right. You'd better believe it. Mum, Dad, guess what? Zoe, I've reconsidered your offer. And if it's still on, I'd like to accept. Yeah, I know, but it's the same sort of thing now, isn't it? I mean, you've got this big decision to make and you're just rushing into it headlong. I don't know. Perhaps I'm jealous. Perhaps I'd like to alter my life. I should miss you. Oh, Can I have another thought and lemon? I'll get it, little. Oh, what a gentleman. You know, we're in France. Then how are you supposed to know what any of it is? Well, ask him. Oh, what, on the right prank? He won't mind. Madame. I might need a bit of help. I will try. Uh, what is the, uh... Salad and nicosoise? It is a mixed salad with tuna fish and anchovies. Oh, perfect. To start with, please. And the, uh, the oeuf bundle? Fillets of beef braised in red wine and seasonal herbs. Oh, sounds lovely. With a selection of pigeons? Yes, please. Merci. Uh, monsieur? Steak, chips, peas and mushrooms. And how would monsieur like the steak? Cremain. Well done. Très bien. And to start? Soup of the day? There's a chef as my bad, can be she's one. I'll have that then. Would you care to see the wine list? No, I just bring this bottle of champagne, mate. Whatever you got. You have an excel of champagne. Nice one. See? Don't have to grovel at these people. Just have to let them know who's boss. 